Alright, well I haven't been talking much this video. Nothing going on. Nobody watching. But in case somebody watches later, what I sell is the Sun Anglices. I've also been buying the buckets and flipping them. If I can buy buckets of magic at RP, I can sell those for double RP. I just spent 1.2 million on some and I've sold a stack of, I've spent 1.2 million for 50. Sold a stack of 30 for 1.6 and a stack of 33 for 1.7 million to make my money back. And then a lot more. Um, what else? I've been selling Cobras, but they're, the price is really dropping on them. But I've been selling those stacks of 10 for 30000 Yeah, see, I got a stack of 30, Bucket of Magic. RP is 740 Selling it at 1.6, and it'll sell. Everything I have is really priced high, but it's all it'll all sell at these prices. Ten small gifts, and I sell three large gift bags for a hundred. Usually, I sell three spinny tickets. I still sell those for a hundred k. It's just real slow lately. I might drop down to a four for a hundred k. Um, I've been buying these for one point five. 1.4. I bought that one right at 1.46 or 4.5. So hopefully, if I don't sell it at 2.1, I'll drop it down to 1.9. Just take the 400, 450k I earned. But this was my best investment so far. 1.2, and I turned it into 3.2. Well, I had 10 buckets to add to it. Because I bought 50, had 10, so I sold two stacks of 30, basically. The other one was actually 33. Keys, I still sell at 120. I still sell these for 100K, 10 for 100K. But yeah, the Suns, I buy these for 15 to 20K. And I sell them. People are learning now because it's actually went up to 18. It was down to 15K. Um, I buy those for 15K. I sell them anywhere from 100 to 300,000. People don't know about that one. Also, the Cobras are really good if you can buy it. I was buying stacks of 100, which I could have bought thousands for more, but... Now I see stacks of a thousand for two thirty. I was buying stacks of one hundred for like seventy k, and then I would break them down into ten stacks of ten and sell them for thirty. And I just kept going buying more, buy more, and eventually I had no money to buy bigger stuff. Just keep working my way up. So I've been doing the whole time pretty much. But that's it if you watch the video and this is I know it's going to be outdated eventually real soon on the Cobras but all the other stuff is like this is really high if you want them to move sell them at 100k and they'll move so fast um, lucky blocks I sell for 60k they take a little bit longer than the pinatas at 150 no big deal uh, those, I just sold a chest for 200k, the ones that are valued at like 95, and I still sell my charm stones at 250, 275 sometimes even, still 300 from time to time, but yeah, this is the one, these two right here are my biggest profits right now, and I've made a couple where I bought like these eggs at 2.1 and so, so are 1.1, and sold them at 1.9 or 2 million. So that's pretty good flip. If you can find them. It's hard to find them. Now it's hard to find them below 1.4 anymore. But it seems like every night the price goes down. And in the mornings it's down to 1.2. But by the end of the day it's up at 1.6 in the evening. And then it drops down again overnight. So we'll see if that keeps happening. 
but I really keep an eye on the market, so if you come back and check me out, I usually know what's trending or what's going on. If you do buy a huge and it's under RP, be a little bit leery because the person selling it, I found out they usually know what's going on with them. If they're selling it for less than RP, they're trying to beat the curve because it's dropping. So sometimes the prices on the huges do drop a little, but overall they gradually go up. So you want to get them as quick as you can and get the least, the ones where there's the least amount of them are the ones that hold value the best. Here, I'll show you the hugest I've got so far. I've pretty much been doing free-to-play lately. But when I first started on my other guy, I was grinding like the diamond room and stuff. But I've learned how to work the manipulate the market enough to where I don't even mess with the diamond room that much, really. But anyways, that's it. So right now the market's really dead. So I think I'm just going to sign off of here and just AFK it and see what happens. I pretty much broadcast every day, so come back, check me out, see where my money's at, like and subscribe if you want. Alright, thanks for watching, if you ever watch it. Take care.